wondering how artists work look beautiful like this getting to be with our walls and you can't explain why yours isn't like this you can't explain why you're not getting this realism in your drawing well i think there are some things you are not doing right so the question is what are the things you are not doing right what are the possible things that makes this pro artist guess hyper realism in their works then you get this in your works you use the same tools you use the same stuff they use you you have the same hands and other stuff but you are not getting these looks in their drawing but they keep making more drawings and it keeps turning out to be more beautiful and more beautiful so if you are one of that guy you just click the right video and i'll take you through the steps that we pro artists go through and the things you are not doing right that is making your work look barely beautiful or look rough a bit i've seen many artists there that their walls are a little bit rough dirty these are all the mistakes you do so i'm taking you through all those steps and you follow it bit by bit to understand everything I'm about to take and put and practice them on your own well let's get to the first one so the first one on my list is sketching we shall not write sketching is very very important in your drawing that's why you need to take your time to make your outlines well make it with your you can even spend more time than shading you can spend more time in sketching than shading because you need to get the proportion everything accurate the shape the mouth every stuff because once you start shading especially for pen artists pen guys you understand that once you start shading with pen there is no erasing it or whatever or start over all you can do to a damaged drawing is to start over again and based on the process and your progress you might not want to start over again that's why you need to take your time to sketch there are many types of sketching techniques you can do i use freehand to that's a, i use measurements and all those stuff i measure them you can use tracing to tracing to just like printing the stuff then tracing them on the paper just make sure you get what you want accurate you can use grid many artists use grid but if you don't get this right other things i'm talking now is bullshit because you will still not get it right this is your first lead and this is the first tool you must consider when you start drawing whatever drawing you are making or whatever thing you decide to make so this will give you a guide you need to you need to outline the place that are too light the place that looks dark and the place that looks soft you get so is in that sketching that you can do all the stuff so take your time to sketch make sure you take your time to sketch make sure you get that stuff accurate before you proceed to shading don't just run to shading shading will mess you up if you didn't get the sketching part you understand so then make sure your sketching is accurate you can browse about videos that can help you or you subscribe because i'm posting the video very soon on the way i sketch my drawings and how i get the exact look of what i'm looking for so the next on my list is highlight what are highlights highlights are these white stores you see on our drawings trust me this is what makes it look beautiful those white parts those white line you skipped when shading a particular area you left it that is the beauty of the drawing you can't just shade everywhere to be dull and look somehow shady all the stores and you expect your drawing to look beautiful no it doesn't work like that there must be highlight in your drawings now look at my work you will see there are highlights bring any artwork any drawing as far as it's protected drawing landscape any other thing there are highlights in the drawing you can use you can you can avoid them when you are shading or you can just buy a highlight pen and highlight whatever you want to highlight there's a highlight pen you can browse at amazon you can see do some of the pens then you choose the one you can afford but for me i don't use the highlight pen i avoid the lines because those parts because i'm using a white paper 
so mostly most times i avoid this all these highlights you see in the in this drawing i avoid them i didn't use any highlights people or any other stores in the drawing so highlights are very very important how do you add highlight highlight is simple shade the other parts the darker parts on the drawing and leave the light part the white part in that drawing so you can see what i'm doing at the leaves i leave the white part now look at the cap of this us army that i drew those white parts you see are what we call highlight and are the are the things that make it look beautiful what if i have shaded all those white parts what if i made everything look dull it won't be this beautiful so highlights are important in your drawing you might understand it but i i i wish you understand it more I wish you understand it more it's very very important in your drawing see highlights and shadows are really really important in your drawing so the next thing i'm going to is the tools we use you don't just get this at home or at you by random paper or random tools you bought in the market or normally white paper no you use a paper for drawing now look at the paper i'm using this is called needle point paper it has this rough part and rough sketches in it not all artists will tell you this because it is their secret they get these rough papers and especially for pen guys you really really need this something that will break the lines well then you get what you want out of the joint this is called for this paper is called fine line paper i use this and needle point paper i use them a lot and they turn out to be very 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 good these papers are very very good and they are very affordable there's no i think they are very very cheap so you can get one or two for yourself in this other drawing this is the paper i use needle point paper see what you need here is something that will break those lines and getting the skin texture you want in the drawing because the human skin is naturally rough when you zoom in in human skin in the human skin you will see some white and dark spots in the skin so this is what you are trying to represent using this paper is easy and most artists don't say this so get yourself a rough paper skin uh, drawing then thank me later now let's go over to the tools i'm using i'm showing you the ones i'm using i don't know the ones other guys are using because there are lots of pen there are lots of tools there are lots of drawing there are lots of pencil materials there are lots of charcoal you can use but these are the ones i use for me i'm using big pen big crystal pen what is big pen big pen uh, i love it because it has a ball at the mouth so the mostly usually when you are drawing the book is rolling and you are getting a very very solid color i love the color that it turns out to be both the black color and the blue color i use them most almost on my drawings i just added, added all these ones to get a darker more darker look in the drawing the pencil this pen yeah i added them to get the most darkest in the drawing maybe when i'm shading on the black on the black traits so this is easy as that so get yourself a rough paper and then a nice pen so what are we doing next so there we need to know about the shading technique you are using whether you're a pen artist pencil artist graphite you need to know the shading that will suit your drawing perfectly fine for pen drawing this is the one i do and it has really really helped me a lot it is easy to use and it is faster i'm serious it is faster so we have the hatching here we have the cross hatching and we have the scribbling as you can see how i'm doing it these are all simple techniques and it's just about the way you put it in your drawing that you get a most beautiful look out of it i use that technique here this is what i use here and you can see the outcome is really beautiful i know about other artists that do it and i know about other artists that don't do this technique so what you just do here is create a line a straight line the first line you create we call it hatch i call it hatch then the second line you create to cross the first line you do i call it cross hatching so this cross hatching 
we just cross the drawing then you add circles on on the ones you shaded you add circles this technique is mostly mainly good when you are shading a rough skin example this drawing this kind of drawing you use this very very much unless the drawing is over smooth or very very smooth then you can you just use hatching and cross hatching you get so these three things are easy something that you can do and once you added it with the tools that i'm using i use the rough paper on the drawing plus these skills you will go far you will uh, you will get what you really want so this other one is what i call scribbling to scribbling it's just making a scribbling then using a scribbling to detail it is as simple as that well have you thought about the pictures this artist draw they spend a lot of time getting their pictures their referral speech are top notch they are very very high quality you don't just go and start drawing random something and you didn't see the details how are you supposed to add the details of what you don't see something that is blur ah you have to get a very very sharp picture a picture that looks more beautiful more beautiful and you can see the details where like in this drawing this is the picture i use in this drawing you can see how everything is detailed so i'm looking at and seeing everything that i'm doing so that's just it you need to get the very very high quality picture on your drawings so that you can get a very good drawing that's why most times it, when when i get commission at all and the drawing isn't sharp i will simply tell you to get a sharper picture or a sharper drawing so that you can get the most beautiful artwork or the most beautiful drawing out of it you can't just sharpen what you did not see though there's a remedy for that because we have the editing if you are good in editing that's very very good for you whether you have a blood picture or a blood picture that is not good you simply edit it if you can edit or you find all these apps that can help you edit then you get the sharp picture then you start your drawing and make sure that when before you start drawing always cover your picture to black and white whether you are doing pencil or pen drawing it will help you see the highlights well and know how to blend your drawing and get the most beautiful art of the drawing so make sure you always do the black and white but if you can understand the color ones fine but as a beginner i advise you always switch to black and white use that black and white picture to get it more so that you can see everything you need i hope you are with a pen and paper and you have been jotting down what i've been saying since well you need to jot them down and note them so the next thing you also need to know is about the time we invest in the drawing you don't just rush a drawing and expect it to look that beautiful no you need to put your time your effort you need to put most of the things you, you need to put everything in you to get this loose in the drawing that's how we do that's what makes people marvels and once once you tell most artists about the secret uh, or the things you pass through doing the drawing they'll be like oh you stress too much or uh, they will withdraw to get these details are being added one after the other it is not computer it's not magic it this is man-made and this is a human made is someone that made this drawing the smokes the leaves the highlight the dollar the money everything is being drawn by human being with a paper so you must learn and you must know how to take your time to make drawings these details are not one they are not two they are not in two minutes they are not in two hours you need to take your time to analyze all these stuff so that you can get the best always be in a competition with yourself make your old work make your new work be more beautiful than the old work don't let your old work to be more beautiful than your new work that's a sign that you are improving once the new ones you are doing are more beautiful than other and more beautiful than other then you know that then reach a time where you will have lots of progress then you look at your back and your previous drawing you'll be like someday i was like this this was how i did it and this was the mistake i made 
and this is what I learned. So you can teach others if you want to and if you wish to. So take your time in these joints and get the best out of it. And more thing you need to know is learn how to draw always. You will not fly to learn all these stuff. You need to draw to learn all these stuff. All we need to do, all we do is to help you and teach you. But the main teaching is the one you teach yourself. The one you started. That is the main teaching. All these details, no one taught me. I just see a few people doing it and I put it to practice. I got this knowledge and I'm sharing it to you. So you improve by yourself. You don't fly, you just follow the process and you get there. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe for more tutorials.